Hey guys, before we get this video started, I just wanted to say we have an anime channel called Mystic Sage, where I do a lot of anime content including countdowns, speculations, what ifs, and much more. If you guys like anime and the content you see here on Mystic Umbreon, I think you will enjoy the content on Mystic Sage. A link to the channel on Mystic Sage and today's video will be in the description and in the air card above. So I have seen a few people in the community do this video idea before. Basically, Poketubers take their first ever teams they use in the Pokemon games they have played and talk about why they picked those Pokemon on their teams. Today, I wanted to talk about my first ever Kanto Pokemon I used for my first ever playthrough of Leaf Green, because Leaf Green is my favorite Kanto Pokemon game. Kanto is honestly a very fun region to play when it comes to the remakes, especially because of the Sevi Islands. Fire Red and Leaf Green are two of my favorite Pokemon games too, and I'm super excited to fill you guys in on what Pokemon I used in my first ever Kanto remake journey. Alright, without any further ado, let's hop right into this Kanto team. Starting off this team, we have my favorite Kanto starter Pokemon, Venusaur. When I was a kid and I picked up Pokemon Red for the first time, Bulbasaur was my first Pokemon I chose. Even though I didn't know where I was going and got lost constantly in Viridian Forest, I remember evolving Bulbasaur into Ivysaur by the time I got out. Not only did Bulbasaur have a lot of bonding time with me in Viridian Forest, I loved Ash's Bulbasaur. I envied its attitude, pride, and how it refused to evolve into Ivysaur. I know I always say how much I love Chikorita, but Bulbasaur will always be that close second. It's cute, adorable, and is also technically the best starter for Kanto. I love Bulbasaur so much and I'm so happy I got to use it as my starter. Second on the team, we have that Pokemon that everyone wants to ride on, Lapras. Lapras is just one of those iconic Gen 1 Pokemon that I don't think anyone could hate. I mean, it just looks so friendly and awesome. Watching the Pokemon anime and always seeing Ash and friends ride on his Lapras always made me want one of my own, in game and in real life. So you could imagine my excitement when I was just given one randomly inside of Sylphko. Now of course in these games, you just get this default blob spread to surf on. But when you're a little kid with an active imagination, you can almost put that aside. But that doesn't really matter anymore as we had Lapras ride in and Moon, as well as a more accurate scaled version in the upcoming games Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, which is unbelievably exciting. Now I know Lapras isn't the most amazing Pokemon battle-wise, as its stats could be distributed a little bit better, and it has a weaker move pool. However, it can still get some work done being able to be a mixed attacker and having decent moves like Water Pulse, Ice Beam, Psychic, and Thunderbolt. All in all, Lapras is just a great Pokemon, and I think just its presence was enough to have me excited to play through Kanto. Jolteon may not be my favorite evolution, but fun fact, Jolteon was the first Kanto evolution I ever used on the Kanto team. I remember picking up a Shockwave TM from Lieutenant Surge and thinking, hey, if I have a Jolteon on my team, I can use that TM, and that would make my Jolteon super powerful. And boy, I was right. Jolteon was shredding teams left and right with that high special attack stat and that 60 base power stab electric attack. Jolteon also just happened to fit into my team plan because I already had my team planned out in my head. I needed an electric type and I didn't want to use Pikachu because I had actually just got my Pokemon Yellow copy prior to that. I was only 10 years old at that time when I first started playing Leaf Green, but I knew Jolteon was a good Pokemon because my neighbor would use one on his team to battle us. I remember Jolteon would always sweep us, so I figured, hey, why not? Why can't I use one on my team too? It actually wound up working really well for me and I'm glad it did. Jolteon was also my Kanto MVP because I wind up using it more than the majority of my team. So next up we have Golbat. There's actually a funny story with this one. I really wanted a Crobat on my team. Go figure, right? However, when I was younger, I was completely unaware that you weren't able to evolve Golbat into Crobat until you got the national decks in postgame. So here I was, diligently leveling up my Golbat, wondering why it wasn't evolving. I've been using it so much, so surely it had high enough friendship to evolve it, right? And this frustration continued all the way until the bitter end, until my Golbat started to evolve. All of a sudden, Golbat can evolve. I was pretty frustrated at the time, but looking back on it, it's actually kind of hilarious, and plus it wasn't all that bad. In addition to Fly, it had great moves like Steel Wing, Shadow Ball, and Poison Fang. Sure, it was weaker, but it was decently fast and could get the job done. So yeah, I kind of love and hate Golbat for this, and I definitely won't be making this same mistake for Let's Go Pikachu Nidhi. So with how many times I have brought up Nidoking with any Kanto team I have done on my channel, I bet some of you were expecting me to bring him back. Well, you would have been right because Nino King is amazing and I love using it on any Kanto team that I make. This team, however, is the first Kanto team I have made and at that time my love for Nino King isn't as strong as it is now. That's why I chose Doug Trio to be on my team at that time. I remember just going through Diglett's cave and out of nowhere, I ran into a level 31 Doug Trio on my screen. My reaction was, wow, this Pokemon is stronger than any of the Pokemon I have seen on my team so far. With abilities out too, I couldn't run away from it because it had Arena Trap. My only choice was to either capture it or to get defeated. I decided to attempt to capture it. Fortunately, I did capture it and my entire team had Fanny descent from Ivysaur who was around 10 HP. I captured it and wound up sweeping Lieutenant Surge's entire gym, literally one-shotting everything. I decided, yup, this thing was going to be my team member. So it's not even because I like Doug Trio, it just so happened to be really powerful and it impressed me enough being able to take out Surge's entire team. 
earlier I mentioned there were Pokemon I planned to have on my team that popped up in my head. And it just so happens that Ninetales was one of those Pokemon I wanted to have. If you have watched any of my favorite Pokemon videos, you guys know that Vulpix and Ninetales are two of my favorite Pokemon of all time. So there's no question why I wouldn't want it on my team. My mom bought me the VHS Pokemon tape titled Fashion Victims, and on that tape Brock met his Vulpix for the first time through a Pokemon breeder. She didn't want Vulpix anymore, so she gave it to him to raise. With how cute Vulpix was, I knew I needed it for my team. Fun fact, Vulpix was actually used on my Pokemon Silver team the first time I used it. I had Pokemon Red as my first game, so I couldn't get Vulpix on there, but on Silver I could. But yeah, Vulpix and Ninetales are in my top 5 favorite Pokemon of all time, so I had to have it on my team. Stone Evolutions were so easy to get in Kanto too. I wish they were that easy to get in all Pokemon games. I hate that pretty much all my favorite Pokemon are mainly stone evolutions because it makes them so much harder to get in games where stone evolutions aren't as easy. Oh well though, as long as I get to use Ninetales, I don't mind how difficult it is. Well, that pretty much wraps up my first team for Kanto. This team may not have all my favorite Pokemon on it, but I love using Pokemon I rarely use. I miss the times when I would be completely blind to playing Pokemon games and I had no idea what I was doing. Playing Pokemon that way to me will always be fun. So basically what I'm saying is, I miss being a silly little kid and getting lost. Anyways, that was how I met my first Kanto Pokemon team. How about you guys? What was your first Kanto team? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, why not leave a like and subscribe to my channel with notifications on, that way you never miss an upload. If you want to support me further, consider following my Twitch stream a lot of Pokemon content and Nintendo content like Shiny Hunting, Showdown Battles, Zelda, and even Fire Emblem. Want to support me further further and gain cool perks? Check out my Patreon. Fly Jubilee, Dan Leone, Lady Crimson, Pal491, and Dirt Weez Austin did, I want to thank them personally for going above and beyond. It means the world to me. I think I'm gonna wrap this up though. I'm Mr. Gumbrian and I will see you in the future for more awesome Pokemon content.